All right, so today I have a 2005, I believe. Um, this truck came in um, due to it was run. It would run for like 10 minutes until it gets hot, and then it would shut off. Um, I did a diagnosis on it. I can see injectors um, were acting kind of funny, so I took all the injectors out, resealed them all. They weren't torqued down correctly, so I retorqued them all. They're all new injectors. Um, put it all back together, and now it's got a different problem, and it's it's really something I want to go over with because this is something I'm seeing with customers, you know, that send me emails and trying to figure out what's going on with their truck this is a, a an interesting one and it's a good video that um you know good information for you guys so the more and more information i get on a truck that comes to me the the better off i'm going to be in the long run so this guy did <clears throat> his own work and you can see how kind of hokey some of this stuff is He's got his own oil bypass system, and he also did a new radiator. He tried putting some money into this truck. Um, another thing he did is he went on eBay and bought a set of heads from DK Engines and did his own bulletproof job. So he's got DK heads on here and um, an oil bypass system and um, that he kind of JB welded up. but. The main thing that we're going to focus on right now is the heads. Um, when we're running the truck, when the truck starts up, it runs fine um, until it gets warm. Um, what starts to happen is the driver's side head is actually bad. And when we tear more into this and I get the heads off, I can actually show you on a machine what we're looking at. But um, when I do a compensation on the um, IDS system, uh, and basically have the injectors, you know, stop compensating and it just does a normal, um, you know, adding equal f fuel amount to every piston, um, the whole driver's side wants to drop out. So I'll show you what it looks like on the computer here. Let me go ahead and start this truck up and you can see what I'm talking about. bypass is not right it doesn't have a one-way valve in it so that's why it takes a little longer to start up so, so as you can tell right now it doesn't look too bad right so we'll go ahead and stop compensation and you can see what happens so eight and six is dropping out, four is dropping, and two is dropping. Okay. So that's telling me that we got one side of this engine not doing what it's supposed to be doing. So I'll stop compensation. Okay. And it runs fine. But as soon as it starts getting warm, it's gonna drop out one at a time like that. Right now, I think my water temperature is only like 100, and maybe 100 degrees. I'll look at the other plates too so you can see that everything else is normal. Uh, for instance, uh, so like thick and voltage, uh, ICP, and yeah, that's good for now. IPR maybe, if you guys want to see IPR. Forty-eight volts, 
870 on ICP, so we're normal there. Um, he said he put a new ICP sensor in there, so I don't know why it's got zero voltage. But that's not going to change the way it's running now. So, 158 on coolant temperature, 111 on oil. So we're trying to get it warm. And we'll go back to the uh, power balance here. You can see it's starting to drop down to four, two, four, six, and eight. And as it gets hotter, this is all drooping down. Now I, I know it's not an injector issue, like I've told you guys before. Injectors have been torqued, they're brand new. Uh, what's happening is the valves aren't sealing and it's causing a, a a combustion leak through passive valves. So, oh, there you go. So number six and eight, it's basically, it's it's trying to compensate as much as it can and it just gets to the point where it can't compensate anymore so it just, the thickum just says screw it and it goes to its, its comp, you know, it stops compensation on its own. So, Number six, number eight, dropping out. It, there's nothing else that the pickum can do right now at this point. So we're gonna pull the heads off and I'll do a vacuum test on the heads and I'll show you what I'm talking about as far as the valve seats. The, the, the valves aren't sealing on the valve seat. So, um, but that's, that's pretty much what's happening. And, um, I've seen this a couple times with DK heads already, but this time I'm going to shoot a video on it. I don't like DK heads, and they're garbage. So, um, but I'm going to take these heads off, and um, we'll show you what they look like on a, on a vacuum test here, as soon as we get them on the uh, guidance seat machine. So. Alright, so here's the driver's side head. And two, four, six is the one giving us issues. Number four is sealing up. That's holding vacuum. The next one. Uh, that's, that's holding vacuum too. So that's number two. So let's go to four. And it doesn't hold. Try that one. So one of the intake valves isn't holding on this number six, and I think number eight, uh, one of the this one on number eight is doing the same thing. We also tested the exhaust side on number six, and the exhaust isn't holding either. So there's your leak. So we'll go ahead and uh, run a valve jump on this, fix it, and put it back together. So here's the valve, and you can see where it's leaking by and not sealing up. Right there. You can see it's clean there, dirty there. It's egg shaped. Got too much room out in the seat. Yeah. So this will conclude our video for now for the um, the heads. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'll shoot the part two of this head uh, job and show you the difference on what happens after we get the head valve job done and everything sealed up correctly we'll put the heads back on there and uh, we'll do another diagnosis I'm going to actually delete the whole oil cooler setup on this guy's truck because it's a mess and I don't trust JB Weld on anything so I'm gonna go back to basically gonna turn this truck back to stock get rid of the wires and everything and put the uh, factory oil cooler um, setup back in place so, um, anyways, when I, uh, I'll go ahead and shoot a second video, um, why the, uh, why the heads are getting done, um, I'll, uh, I'll get the heads put on and then we'll go ahead and I'll just do a compression test for you guys just to, you know, get a peace of mind and see what we're at for this engine. Um, and then, um, so second video would be 
uh, engine back together, compression test, and then diagnosis after that to see how good the engine runs after uh, we get it all put together. All right. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me and uh, send a comment, like, subscribe. Have a good 4th of July. Thanks.